Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this. so. If you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button let's get started and as usual we will start with the Dixie we are on the weekly time frame guys um, if you remember from my uh, previous overviews uh, we've been talking about a bearish dollar on the weekly time frame and um, that was um, and is still the case if we are gonna take a look at the major swings we still have higher highs and higher lows until this uh, last um, leg down we had a bit of a dollar bullishness with a higher low now a higher high that broke above previous high this is an important move but keep in mind that uh, this kind of things uh, happened before we had the same scenario here where we had a higher low here a higher high that broke previous high to then see the dollar continue to the downside so uh, right now we've been talking about the 92 previously in my weekly overviews about this uh, 92 level to be a key area looking left this area been broken and now getting retested so i will keep an eye on this level for a potential uh, uh, bearish defense we start having also um, a little bit of <laughs> Uh, hidden bearish diversion divergence if you check uh, the RSI we have a higher high on the RSI already between um, this stop and this stop while on the price it is actually a lower high so that is what we call a uh, hidden uh, bearish uh, divergence um, but um, we're gonna watch this level to see if there will be any further continuation see that uh, the price is still uh, on the daily time frame below the 200 moving average on the um, on the daily and if we check the daily chart we see why this 92 is uh, important you see it here clearly that I've been acting as uh, support previously many times uh, here as well and now getting retested so it's pretty interesting to see what will happen here is it the start of something uh, big here that we're gonna see uh, the dollar giving us uh, such a move like this ABC and then a little bit of a correction or continuation or it is a level for the bears to defend and start moving the prices lower so this is gonna be a pretty interesting area to watch in my opinion now since we've uh, have done this uh, pretty extended uh, leg at the moment if you check uh, the four hour time frame you see how uh, strong uh, of a move so there is a nice momentum but uh, it is a level to watch for next week to see if we're gonna see some kind of a correction maybe back down toward this area so um, keep an eye on this level where the price is testing right now we could um, already have got a a uh, equal measured move as well almost i think i'm just eyeballing that right now so if we check this we've had already a potential um, um, equal measured move between uh, this leg and this leg and the um, correction we had uh, previously on the um, first leg is uh, 38.2 which is the least to have if you're gonna play an a b equal c d pattern and um, we've got that already and the extension we have on this leg uh, also uh, could be something interesting the 1.414 uh, is already tested on the fib and it is the 92 level that we've been watching as a potential area of trouble so keep an eye on this level in my opinion uh, going to gold we see that gold is still a bearish structure checking the weekly time frame you see that the next level of interest gonna be down here there is nothing on the way it is pre pretty empty area since we broke below this I was saying that the next level gonna be this uh, swing down here and you will see this better on the daily time frame uh, this area here 
is a nice structure that been tested many times as you see as support and uh, if we see the uh, gold dipping toward that area could be an interesting level for the bulls to start to try and defend it now it is still in a bearish trend so uh, in that case you would be trading against uh, this uh, bearish, uh, bearish trend so 1670 a, a potential good area um, and um, as for now uh, at least uh, as far as there is no break of the uh, sorry as far as there is no retest of that area um, interesting to see if we gonna get some short-term trade to the downside in a continuation of this uh, bearish trend so uh, the, the the next level I'm interested of for uh, next week is to see what will happen when and if the price test this area if it's gonna give us some kind of a, a correction back up here and then a uh, continuation to the downside or if it breaks this little flag to the downside then you know that 1670 is the next target to the downside and potentially a uh, potentially a, a level to look for a bullish continuation the weekly pivot been playing nicely here on the on gold as you see we've got a retest of uh, the weekly pivot point which is a normal level of uh, interest when you start the week if you start below it you want to look for a reversal at those levels and then the uh, s1 acted as a nice support you see how many hours the price stuck at that weekly s1 and um, gave it uh, a little bit of a um, uh, support down here oil um, still bullish so i was uh, saying that 65 area is our level of interest and that i want to see a a tag above previous highs we've got the first uh, high got tagged and uh, the market closed above it we still have this high here now still bullish nothing on the chart that showing any bearishness but keep an eye on the rsi at the weekly we are at the extreme of a bar uh, next week if we break and hold above this like a couple of daily candles above this level that could signal continuation even further up without any correction but for now i'm willing to see some kind of a correction i'm willing to see this as a potential fake out and if that would be the case and i see a bearish day coming all the way down back again below 65 i'm interested to short back down toward the bottom down here at around the monthly pivot uh, you see the price is testing already monthly r1 here we do have a huge bearish divergence on the rsi as well which is also another early signal for potential reversal but uh, on the chart there is nothing that is saying that at the moment so don't take my words on that and uh, go crazy on shorting this market it is still a bullish market and uh, honestly if uh, if you wanted to uh, follow the textbook of trading you would need to wait for a retest of this previously broken structure that may give uh, the bears a little bit of trouble and then look for continuation but i personally I'm looking to see if this is not a um, an, an, a move that uh, came after the OPEC meeting, and usually the market um, the market uh, get get ahead of itself of some headlines. Sometimes it go um, a little bit more than it need uh, when you get um, uh, such headlines, you know. So uh, that's why I'm thinking that we potentially we have an exhaustion move here, and may, we might see a little bit of a reversal. But that's me um euro usd so um checking the weekly time frame we are uh, in a, a a nice bullish market yeah on the weekly with higher highs and higher lows this could be a, a, a healthy correction toward this previously broken structure and then potential continuation so uh, structure wise on the weekly um, you see after this break to the upside we never got a retest of this broken structure now we are at that level so i will uh, keep an eye on this level it is a key area that might get tested and then continuation from there is a possible scenario keep in mind that uh, we tested a key area that's why we've got this uh, correction or, or this reversal happening so for next week i'm uh, checking where the price is testing right now to see if we're gonna see some kind of a bullish um, uh, reversal or bullish defense at this uh, key area that been acting as resistance previously and um, i'm looking to see if it's gonna act as uh, support for now 
And um, another thing you need to keep in mind that this market broke a couple of um, key swings here. The most important one is actually this swing. This is now uh, broken, but um, this happens before as well. Yeah, we've got uh, some swings got broken to then start seeing the market failing to break lower and uh, reversing to the upside. So it is not impossible to see that um, happening again, especially at such a key area. Now, if next week we see that the euro dipping back down and um, failing to hold this level, then there is potentially a little bit of a further down move. But also keep in mind that the 200 moving average on the daily is coming from below, still pointing to the upside. So we might see we might see a little bit of a um, uh, continuation toward that 200 moving average to then uh, start um, seeing some bullish evidence. So sh to keep it simple, guys, at the moment where the price is testing right now is a potential support area checking the four hour time frame. You see also that this level has been testing the first time since we broke to the upside. So keep an eye on that potential scenario that you might see a little bit of a bullish defense here. I'm expecting uh, maybe at least some kind of a reversal back to this broken level here. That could be something. So short term, we might see a little bit of a bullish uh, momentum uh, from uh, this area. Sterling, same scenario here. Uh, checking the weekly time frame, we saw uh, the Sterling retesting a key area, never tagged previous highs, which uh, was something I wanted to see actually before the reversal. But it tested the bodies of these candles um, and then reversed. But uh, weekly time frame, um, structure wise, you are still looking at the bullish market, even though you had this reversal. There is no major swing that been broken on the weekly. Checking the daily though. On the daily, we have a lower high. Uh, we we see the market breaking below a minor level, but all in all, what I'm interesting here of is a retest of this area to see what will happen at that level because we uh, might see now this previous support and resistance level giving uh, the bulls maybe a little bit of um, an area to play with um, as a potential um, level for defense so um, when and if the market dipped toward 1.3732 down here at around this area, 3730, we might look for a potential bounce back up um, on uh, Sterling USD. Um, short term, we are looking at the bearish market. Yeah, so for our time frame, we've got this double top, we've got an impulse, we got the correction and consolidation. I took a short here last week and um, closed that um, at the um, at the 200 moving or just below that actually at around weekly s1 and um, yeah i was thinking that i close this ahead of the weekend and i will see what will happen if uh, we reach this area because i am interested to see if the bulls will show up here if we get if i get any bullish evidence at this level i'm interested to go long at least short term maybe a retest toward these levels as a target on uh, sterling USD Jappy, well, <laughs> this is uh, crazy going uh, like a rocket, uh, still pushing to the upside. I was expecting some kind of, um, after this break, some kind of a correction and then a continuation, but we never get that. Uh, you see that uh, the momentum got um, even stronger here and broke the top of this um, nicely working channel. It's been working nicely until we uh, reached the top here slowed down a little bit and then boom all the way up um, broke above 108 without any troubles at all and if it keeps like this you see that there is nothing uh, on the way looking left until we reach this stop here which is the uh, 1010 ish area so uh, 10980 is the next level of uh, interest for the bulls if they keep holding above uh, 108 uh, area here so keep an eye on that but i'm a little bit uh, cautious here uh, i mean after this uh, huge move here and uh, this uh, leg was no correction almost um i'm not um, interested to go long um, as such a level so um i'm waiting for a little bit of a correction to the downside or 
actually more than a little bit so I'm waiting for something like this to happen before that continuation at least a retest toward this um, structure here this little um, correction uh, area here you see that uh, to be retested at around the 107 area to then look for uh, the uh, continuation so some kind of a correction is needed i'm still uh, bullish on uj but uh, give me some correction market please um usd chief let's check the weekly here as well and see where we are at a huge momentum as you see very very big candle um, broke back inside this uh, area here this whole area was a level of interest and as you see here there was a lot of trouble here on the way and now testing this uh, this high this key swing level getting tested uh, there was no close above this um, or there is actually a little bit of a close above this previous high so the level is broken honestly uh, but uh, still it could uh, give you a little bit of a, an issue here the daily candle was not as strong as the ones before so um, could it be the level that give this a little bit of a um, correction back down I'm mostly interested to being bullish here because the market broke above the 200 moving average and kept pushing higher so uh, it could be the level where we might see a little bit of a correction now uh, what you see here is the NFP candle um, on the four hour and then the one hour this was uh, the NFP move uh, and uh, we're still around the area uh, with a huge bearish divergence on the one hour time frame so uh, I'm bullish but I want to see a correction back down toward maybe 192 area down here if that would be the case and we get some bullish evidence I'm looking for continuation from here based on this huge momentum we have on the four hour and on the daily time frame yeah so we have this uh, uh, ABCD pattern is now completed and overextended with the second leg so uh, potentially a little bit of a correction back down toward monthly R1 that would be lovely to see if uh, we get bullish evidence to then look for that continuation move to the upside I'm not interesting to short this though USD CAD bouncing around me now still inside this uh, huge weekly bullish engulfing candle the price did not leave that uh, weekly range yet um, checking the daily you see that we are still inside these couple of candles here and the key structure is still the same we have this low down here oops uh, let me make it like this we have this little range that is uh, the range that we still have to play and uh, if we go down to the four hour time frame we see that we've had a nice push to the upside a correction back down all the way to 618 where we tested the 618 almost to the pip and then pushed strongly to the upside to then see that the price is still having trouble to hold above the 200 moving average on the four hour the 200 moving average on the four hour on the CAD is working like a charm resistance 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 then when it broke above it start acting as support and then start getting um, a dynamic resistance once again failed to hold above it and last week uh, on Friday there was an attempt to break above it that also failed so uh, this uh, is uh, amazing how it's working as a dynamic support and resistance and it could be a good idea to use that as your filter on the four hour time frame and the 200 moving average as far as that is holding uh, the bulls will have trouble but if they break and hold above it then you know that you might see continuation now I'm expecting potential continuation actually especially if the stock market to have a little bit of an issue next week we've had first leg the correction and the continuation potential equal measured move here to happen so if we measure this first leg uh, whoops let me take the right tool so if we measure the first leg to the top and then from uh, whoops from the uh, correction at the at the 618 down here and we project that to the upside to have an a b c d completion up here at the uh, near previous highs at these levels looking lovely if we take the fibonacci extension tool when we measure this whole leg 
we see again that uh, 1.4, 1.414 is a uh, nice area where we have previous highs, good completion level, but again, the bulls need to fight back here. They, we need to start seeing this market pushing back up and not failing uh, totally here. So we need to go down to the one hour time frame. This whole area here is pretty interesting right now where the price is testing right now. I want to see this level holding and a little bit of a continuation here to get interested for that continuation to the upside. Aussie USD checking the weekly time frame. We're still in a bullish market as far as this is not break uh, broken. You are still looking at the bullish structure on the weekly time frame. No question asked here. The structure is still bullish. But we need to keep in mind that we have a very strong bearish engulfing candle followed by a smaller bodies candle bearish one. On the daily, we have a first lower high, okay? And we have a lower low that broke below this minor structure here. So we have something that started here. But also, you need to keep in mind that this market dipped below this support to then push, push back up. So this is telling us something. There is a little bit of a defense here. I still think the key level on this chart gonna be this down here. If this gets broken also on the daily, that will potentially signal a longer correction to the downside, more bearishness to come. So that left to see what will happen next week. Uh, we have the first impulse to the downside. We had a correction. We might see a continuation of this leg all the way down toward these areas uh, on Aussie USD. But at the moment, as you see, it is holding at this level. It's going to be interesting to see what will happen next week. Um, also, we could see if we have some kind of an equal measured move, if that will end up. I think that might end up further down. So uh, if this... Um, equal measured move really to happen also here we will see that we got a break below this structure which which will uh, change the direction or the trend on the daily and then next level gonna be down here so if we're gonna follow the the short term momentum it is a uh, bearish momentum and um, that would be look for a retest and continuation here but if next week we start seeing strong momentum here happening with a slow correction and then a potential reversal, I'm looking for a bullish continuation because all in all you are still looking at a very bullish market on the higher time frame. New Zealand USD same scenario on the weekly time frame the New Zealand tested a key structure here okay and got rejected strongly now what we gonna watch closely next week is this level down here as far as there is no break below that the bulls will try to push higher the same as they did on friday late friday here so if they fail to hold this level i'm looking for a continuation back down toward monthly s2 if they manage to hold the level and we do not see a break we see a double bottom instead happening based on this move and a, another rejection here. That could be at least a short term uh, signal that we might get a correction back up toward this broken structure. Okay, so this is scenario number one. Scenario number two, you see the market opening and going directly to the upside. Then you need to start to look what will happen here. If this fail to break back above it then you might look for a short back down toward this area so there is a couple of scenario to play here the short term momentum is a bearish one and still strong if we get a correction back toward to that 200 moving average and a failure to break above it then you look for a short trade or if you see that the market push down fail to break lower you might look for that retest of this previously broken structure those are the couple of ideas that i have on this one and keep in mind on the four hour time frame you do have a nice uh, divergence here between the lows here on the rsi and the price it is a actually a huge divergence uh, going on bullish one so uh, this is also another signal that we might see 
a little bit of a uh, correction higher from uh, this area and keep in mind that after the break of this uh, structure here you might see a retest to that level before one more leg to the downside so um, yeah guys that was it for this week thanks a lot do not forget to hit the like button and uh, see you next week bye bye